we have seen that from the holiday spending data, it is pretty clear that in the past, the biggest three holidays, uh, the Spring Festival, the May Day holiday, the Dragon Boat Festival, the average spending per person has been declining further and further. So people's consumption are strongly constrained by income growth. If we look at the income growth in first tier and second tier cities, it has been growing slower than the GDP growth. And that is a pretty strong indicator that people still prefer to save their money in the bank rather than spending. So the market confidence is weak. To reverse the market confidence, actually the easiest way just to give cash handouts. But for Chinese governments, we haven't heard any of such narratives yet. The mentality is still to subsidize producers rather than consumers. So we might have more of the consumer coupon kind of program, but I actually don't see that the Chinese government is willing or uh, is able to stimulate domestic consumption. Down 6.3% on Q2 GDP. Yes, it was quite a big miss from expectations, but it's still comfortably above that 4.5% that we saw in Q1. Li Chang had been saying that we're likely to see a better reading in Q2 um, to what we saw at the start of the year. So if they are looking at the year-to-year -year numbers, is 6.3% enough not to justify any big stimulus? Well, 6.3% is way below the market consensus. Uh, May, uh, I have given 7% for the second quarter as our forecast. It's already a very conservative forecast because last year it was a very big hole. We have seen the Shanghai lockdown and the economic stagnation throughout the country last year in the same period. But this year, due to a major drag from the housing market and consumption, we, we actually didn't see the kind of rebound. Of course, it justifies a little bit a little bit bigger of fiscal stimulus or monetary stimulus. But if we look at the whole year picture, even with the 6.3 of GDP growth in Q2, we can still reach the 5% of annual growth without a big problem. Just by a natural rebound in consumption, we can have about 2% 2, uh, 2 to 2.5% of GDP growth already. And investment, as long as housing investment doesn't decrease anymore, it can just stay flat, then we will have another 1 to 1.5 percent to the GDP uh, growth again. And then for the net export uh, segment, um, by accounting, because import is declining faster than export, so overall picture is still kind of rosy. It's not that difficult to reach the annual target, then there's not much incentive really for the central government to extend uh, the stimulus.